<laughs> Go there, you. Hey, so welcome along again, folks, for the second part of uh, the year in bits with Gemma's tits. How does that work? No, no, we're not going to put that it bit has in. No S on. No, we're not going to put that bit. So the year in bits, the best bits, part two, part deux, which I hope you'll enjoy. I hope you enjoyed the first one. Go and check it out. It's on the channel. Just go to the channel, visit the channel, and check it out there. Here is part two, where we pretty much get the tanks fabricated. There will be a part three, maybe even a part four. So make sure you come back tomorrow for those. And also, you're quite lucky, because I've released a vlog today. So check that out as well. Anyway, this is almost half an hour long. It's getting longer by the second. <laughs> <laughs> so grab yourself a beer or three and enjoy the best bits from Harrison's Brewery this year. Freaking did it! It's hard to believe it, isn't it? We're 50 vlogs in, 50 vlogs today. So that's your Valentine's Day cookie from home. Yeah. And we're gonna do Lady and the Tramp esque spaghetti and meatball. You wanna watch it? Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. I did it by the way. Mine this. And I decided to watch it. And a bottle of Prosecco. <laughs> <laughs> Right, who's having some fizz? Only little. I'm that's not in our glass, that's Mum's glass. Mine. Oh, she can have that one. You're having that then. Oh. Dominic says that we have to do the Lady and the Tramp thing of, uh, oh, of the spaghetti. I said the, the spaghetti, but also Dad. With who? You'll laugh at this car. Oh, it's a Dad. Look what I put at the bottom. Dear Dad, thank you for your etto for oh. us. Get out. No, it's uh, and it was a. Awesome. Do for us and exclusively monitoring us. What? You don't <laughs> say that. It's taking you in the way. <laughs> So inside the tank, I've pushed the copper pipe into the corner. Oh, I heard it crack in wood. As long as it's nice and tight. How perfect this is going to roll, I don't know. So we've got the first ring, sort of ring, rolled. I'll show you that when I get a bit more practice. Got a 
Bitte! Hallo! So we've managed to get a ring out of this flat stock rolled into what looks to me like a ring. Bit of bashing about and what have you. And then we're just tacking it on and this is going to give the top of the tank some rigidity. I forgot my belt, I forgot my coat. <laughs> this is what happens when you're on the mucky beer. Oh yeah, this is nice. <laughs> Well, having been fortunate enough today to have Froggy's help once again, he is a diamond. Uh, we managed to, of course, get these two tanks with the bases on today, and this is the one that I've already welded on the inside. So you can see that we've rolled these rings and put them on the outside here. Looking at it from that angle, you can see the profile that it's given it. And the first port of call today is to repair the ice machine. Apparently, it's been playing up. Right, I've reconnected all of the electrical connections, given it a real good clean inside and out. And as you can see, it's forming ice cubes within your front of your very eyes. Happy friggin' Friday, everybody! That's so, more like it. Yeah. Yeah. funny. <laughs> we got the uh, the other rim Ooh. tacked on. Tom will like that. Tacked on to this. Yeah, Tom will love the rim. <laughs> <laughs> he was uh, 2006 World Rimming Champion. Rimming. Tom was. Yeah, uh, Mr. Rimmer. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so taking advice from lots of people in the comments over the past two months, I haven't really had a day off. And today we're fortunate enough to have Gemma and the kids off school and work. It's Saturday, so we're gonna go across to Cleethorpes and have fish and chips on the beach.
Uh, yeah. Can I have one of your bags of candy floss, please, darling? It'll blow away. Bonjour, Madame et Monsieur. Today is Tuesday. Wrong. There's nothing better than an RPA to rinse away the internox that you've inhaled. Oh, well, I might end up like that Russian bloke on news. So today we have a presentation at the brew shed. Uh, in I think it was November or September we won pub of the season uh, and that put us in the running for pub of the year for North Nottinghamshire and we managed to pick the award up so today is presentation day at the brew shed so we've gone up against all of the pubs in North Nottinghamshire which includes Worksop, Retford, all the surrounding villages and uh, yeah, we, we took it. We picked them at the post. So I will present this to Stuart. Thank you very much. Minutes, 
Well, that's it. Monday, done and dusted. So, uh, all the tanks have the cones on. The cones are welded on the inside. There are finishing touches to be done on the inside. And there are lots of finishing touches to be done on the outside. Particularly cooling jackets, pipe work, connectors, that kind of thing. Remember that day when I made them out of paper on the uh, dining room table? That's a good feeling. Magic Rock High Wire Grapefruit as a reward. <laughs> Take a look at this, I'm really, really excited. So you can see where I've built out. We're coming off the tank and then we're gonna flick down a little bit there. These sections for the inlets have all been made separate. I might do something similar down there around them as well. So all I have to do now, I've tacked it all on, is just run round and uh, flow the corners and that will be the whole top of the tank completely finished ready for insulation and cladding. It looks really good. I'm really pleased with it. Right, we've moved the mash tun in. This time, I'm gonna do exactly the same again, but there's no ports to cut out around or anything like that. So it's a straight run. I've got the other one finished. Do you wanna have a look? There she is. Lovely top onto her. As you can see, she looks quite neat. And then around this side, there's the uh, ports. Just going to give them a quick blast with the uh, heavy duty solvent cleaner. And there we go, Dominic and Abigail. Right now, I've got these uh, little bedroom nameplates, D Bird, polished. They look really good, don't they? Good morning, folks. What day is it today, Abigail? Is it Thursday? It's Thursday and I've spent all morning on the clunky, crappy government gateway websites trying to register for alcohol wholesalers. What a waste of time. Anyway, Abby's still off school for the next two weeks, so we're gonna take her across. Where are we going, my love? The old queen. We're going to see the old queen and drop her off there for a couple of hours, and then we'll pick you up. When mummy's finished work. The old queen! Well, it might take a long time. It might. A beef and tomato pot noodle. Let's have lunch. Now because of the shape of the ports, I've decided to go with three bangs on the boil kettle. <laughs> Yes, I shot home, got changed. That insulation that you saw me putting on there, oh man, I absolutely hate it. Anyway, I powered through, uh, we've got it on, 
We've got the whole of the uh, boil kettle. Come on, turn around, turn around. So that's pretty much that's pretty much the front of it, and uh, it's slightly offset actually. The timber tucks in nicely to the steel at the bottom. I'm dead chuffed. It's done all the way around. Two tanks ready to go. Imagine, if you will, sitting down to your morning coffee, turning on your home computer to read the day's newspaper. Well, it's not as far-fetched as it may seem. In fact, both local San Francisco papers are investing a lot of money to try and get a service just like that started. Science editor Steve Newman reports on one person already using the brand new system. Well, I made a right balls up on this one, so I've actually put the outlet for the glycol smack bang above the leg. So I've made this little J hook that links underneath the cooling collar thing and runs up and sits underneath there. So we managed to push the whole thing to one side and that's cantilevered there so it shouldn't ever fall off. And then I've started to put the insulation on this tank. But I've just peeled this away and dropped the insulation back and sent Gemma down to Argos. She's going to pick up some cheap £15 electric heating blankets and that's what we're going to use should we need to heat the tank at all. I don't think we're going to have to, but I want to have the option built in should I, should I require it. So we're going to stick that to the tank before we go ahead and put the lagging over the top. Is that why you think that provide enough heat? Well, it's only it. to... It's a bit of background heat. You know, like if it's really cold in here and we get stalled fermentation, yeah. it'll help with that. And then every, any other time, we just turn it on and over a day or two, it might raise it from 18 to 22 degrees and that'll allow me to do a diacetyl rest. Oh. It's only a quarter to three. I'm early on the beer but I've gone hard at it today. So, I've been up on the scaffolding repairing the roof, and then as I got to the other, yonder side, I noticed that the box gutter is looking a little bit worse for wear. So what I decided to do was check out where these leaks are coming from, and whether it's something that I can fix. Stu's here, he's been to the wholesalers and the bottle shop and the windows are up at Dave's so call it a day for today in the unit it's quarter past four we'll go and pick these windows up once I've got these windows in then we can start to dress that side of the unit windows in folks it is quarter to eight just about it's not all plain sailing though like a twat I managed to crack that one can you see it but I'm sure Dave will change it for me because he's good like that he is so we're gonna sign off and we'll have an update in the morning I think that's enough of that we'll see you tomorrow <laughs>